Hello family! Today we're looking at another exciting role for you, the role of SOC and ISO Manager CPA. We're going to look at the role, we're going to look at who is a SOC Manager, who is an ISO Manager, we're going to look at the key responsibilities, we're also going to look at the salary that this role will pay you, we're also going to look at the resume that you can have that will clinch you an interview for this particular role. Again, like I always say, these are roles that are in the cyber security domain, but they are non-technical. It means that you don't need to have a coding skills, you don't need to have a computer science degree to be able to do this job, and you don't need to have a tech experience. All right, guys, let's dive straight into it. Now, ISO manager is responsible for managing an organizational compliance with ISO standard. Okay, that is the job of an ISO manager. Also, SOC manager is also the same thing. You want to make sure that you're leading your team to be responsible and also ensure that your company is in compliance with ISO and SOC. All right, now let's take a look at the job summary. We're going to look at the job summary. We're going to look at the job duties. We're also going to take a look at the resume that will help you get the job. But first and first, let's look at let's look at the salary. How much does this job pay? This job is going to pay between one hundred and twenty thousand dollars and a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. This is about the company. In my usual manner, I do tell you. When you're looking at a role in any company before you apply or after you apply make sure you read about the company make sure you read about the role it is very very important so psychologically when you're reading about the company and you're reading a, you're reading about the role and you're reading the job description that helps you to understand the problem that you're going there to solve and that will help you when you get to the interview to be able to talk properly and address the problem that they have and then they will know that you're the one that is best suited for that position to help them solve the problem now the about us of the company says video delivers assurance tax and digital technology solutions and financial advisory services to clients throughout the country and around the globe so definitely this is a financial service company you want to read about them okay now let's go to the job summary this is something that you need to know and you must read here it says the tpa manager is responsible for leading a team of audit professionals performing the duties of planning and wrap up for the preparation of third party attestation reports including service organization control SOC one and two web trust for ca as well as high trust and iso now all this here SOC one SOC 2, Web Trust for CA, High Trust and ISO, these here are regulatory standard. Okay. And when you lead your team to pass or to perform the audit to pass this standard, what you get a uh, attestation report. Okay. So they're saying that you're going to lead audit professionals to perform the duty of planning, field work, and wrap up for the preparation of third party attestation report because the report will be given to your company by a third party that does the attestation all right so what you're doing is to lead the company to prepare okay you're going to plan you're going to prepare and you're going to do field work and wrap up for the preparation of that attestation it also says while applying all areas of governing standard as necessary for documenting validating testing and assessing so before the audit guys from the uh, third party company before they come you want to make sure that you look at all the governing areas of your policy in your company the standard and everything that is necessary for you to do also for documenting number one validating and testing testing and assessing various control system so all the controls that they have all the controls in your security policies you want to validate them all right you want to validate them you want to test them you want to assess them to make sure that they are actually doing what they're supposed to do says this position also involved in other business process or 
IS assurance related engagement, including SOX, IT general control testing for private company, financial audit engagement, and agreed upon procedure engagement as needed. So that is it about this job summary. It's all about understanding the regulatory frameworks and also understanding controls. Those are the two things. Like I always told you, when you're looking at job summary, the role, when you're looking at key responsibilities, always try and understand the operative word. Here, the things that you have to understand here are the regulatory controls, the regulatory framework and controls, all right? And they're talking about SOC, SOC 1, SOC 2, Web Trust, which is for California, also High Trust and ISO. Not only that, you must also understand SOC, SOX, right? S-O-X, and you must also be able to lead the team that will validate and test and assess the control. So two things, regulatory frameworks and the controls. Those are the two that you have to understand. That's what this job summary is all about. Now we're looking at the job duties. Now they categorize them into about uh, control environment, gas number two, engagement management three, methodology four, research five, supervisory responsibilities. You can take a look at each of these, but I'm just going to break them down one after the other. All right. Now control environment. The SOC and ISO manager, you're going to apply your knowledge and understanding of governing principles in ensuring compliance with policies and regulations. All right. That's just the breakdown of the entire job duties for control environment. What you want to do is you want to use your knowledge of understanding governing policies to ensure compliance with policies and regulations. Not only that, overseeing attestation examinations. Are you going to assess risk and you're also going to validate internal control systems that's what this is all about you want to test your controls to make sure that your controls are effective and the next one here is the gaas so you're going to also apply a professional auditing standard you're going to utilize advanced knowledge of auditing theory also when you do that you're now going to document work papers and attestation reports and you're you know contributing ideas and opinions to the engagement team also you're going to identify deviations while obtaining necessary approvals that is what this here is all about now for engagement management you're going to serve as a primary contact and you're going to develop and maintain relationship with clients okay and you supervise the engagement team you're going to review work papers and conclusions you're going to delegate tasks provide on the job training, address complex issues and all and all like that. Also the methodology, methodology means how, that's what it means, right? It means how. So you're going to ensure completion of documentation. You're going to conduct detailed review. You're going to prepare and review communications to management and audit committees. All right. And you're also going to recommend appropriate outcomes for the committee as well. And the last one here says that you're going to ensure all work is performed in accordance with BDO methodology and requirements. So what that means is you're not coming in with your methodology. BDO already has an existing methodology. So you're going to make sure that all work is performed in accordance with their methodology. And the last one is research and also supervisory responsibilities. You can take a look and, and read that. Uh, the last one for that supervisory responsibility says that you're going to act as a career advisor to associate and senior associate. So from what we have seen now in the job duties, you can tell that everything here, none of it is uh, technical. None, none, not one. Okay. So what that means is that you, you definitely qualify for this. Okay. And like I always tell you, don't have imposter syndrome. Don't be afraid. The worst you can hear is no. Okay. But it does you good for you to apply and even get the interview experience. All right. Uh, qualifications, knowledge, skills, and abilities. The education, uh, degree in accounting, computer science, MIS, business admin, finance. Now, so what they're saying is that you don't even have to have 
BSc in computer science. You can have it in accounting. You can have it in management science. Anything, as long as you have a bachelor's degree, okay. And the other one is master's degree in accounting and minor. But here it is says it says preferred, okay. So just look at the difference. The first one says required. The second one says preferred. It means if you have it, good. If you don't, apply. Now, experience, they have just three experience here. Uh, experience performing SOC, Web Trust, High Trust. Now, the thing is, you don't have to have experience performing all these frameworks. All right. You don't have to have experience performing everything. If you've done one or two, fine. And you are, if you have not, it doesn't take time to learn it. That's why I always tell people it doesn't take time to learn these things. Learn it if you have not done it before. So, if you like this role, are you going to allow this here to stop you? So now the question is, how bad do you want it? If you want it as bad as you do, then you're going to take time to learn these things. License and certifications. These here are not required. Okay. There's no way there that it says they are required. All right. And if you need help with your certification, let me know as well. Now they're asking software that you need to know how to use. Like I always say, it doesn't hurt. You can look at this on Google, on YouTube and learn the software and knowledge, skills and abilities. So let's go take a look at the benefit. Look at some of the uh, benefit that you're going to get when you uh, get this job. You're going to get paid parental leave a PTO, 401k and everything. They have a very competitive benefit. Now let's take a look at the company. This is BDO. So like I said, make sure you read about them, read everything that you need to know about this company. What do they do? What are the pain points that you think they can have from this job uh, perspective? What do you, what are the pain points? How can you help them solve those problems? All right. Now you're going to build a story around it. Have you done it before? How were you able to solve that problem and what did you learn? Okay. Now let's take a look at the resume that will get you an interview for this job. This is the format. Okay. This is the format of the resume. Like I always say, you can pause it and then copy it. All right. You have your name, your city, your, your zip code, phone number, email, and you can also add your uh, LinkedIn as well. Okay. This is professional uh, summary, the skills experience accomplishment education and if you have some certifications you can also add them after education as well or you can add them right underneath education okay so this here is a resume that will get you access to be able to talk to the recruiting manager or have an interview okay if you need my help when it comes to interview you can click the link in the description there's a way for you to get through to me to schedule a time. I can do a one-on-one -on -one with you. And if you want to join our tech community, you can also click the link below and join our tech community. Now, in my usual manner, when you're going for the interview, make sure you know everything in this experience. It's very, very important. All right. Make sure you know everything here. That's not only that. Also, make sure you know his uh, job duties. Even though you don't have to know everything, but you need to find something that is common with these job duties and understand it. When you do that, you're going to kill the interview. That's the way to go about it. All right. I hope you've been, uh, you've gotten value from this. I hope this bless you. Um, let me know if you apply and get this job, write a comment and let me know you're able to secure this position. I'm going to come again tomorrow with another very very exciting role in cybersecurity that does not need you to be technical. All right. See you tomorrow, family.